All right, welcome back to another episode of Let Me Take You Out. I'm Steven Silva. Small batch ice cream. What does that mean? Well, right now we're here at Carousel Creamery and we're gonna find out, so let me take you out. Okay guys, so right now we're here at Carousel Creamery and we're with the GM and owner, Lincoln Shown. Thank you so much for having us here. So right off the bat, this is an ice cream place, but it's a little different than that. There's more than meets the eye to Carousel Creamery. And we're talking about small batch ice cream. What does that mean? Uh, small batch ice cream uh, is uh, ice cream that's made in small quantities. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll have ice cream that's sold in grocery stores, yes. that's sold wholesale to restaurants. But here, because we have so many flavors, just to keep the ice cream fresh and special, we keep it to a small quantity. Okay, speaking of the flavors, how many flavors do you have right now? Because I'm counting and there's like around 60, 70, am I right? Our, our claim on the sign, it says 101. 101. But right now, because we're gearing up for Mother's Day, we have 110. That's right, we talked about that earlier. One thing that you guys like to do here is you guys, you guys like to rotate the flavors. You also tend to cater flavors to holidays, so you guys had a special set of flavors that came out for the Star Wars launching. Like, so you had like Java the Hut, Java uh, the Hut, it's a spicy coffee, uh -huh. chewy baka, chewy baka, the star anise with beef jerky. What's like the process when you guys are trying to come up with new flavors? Like, is there like a maybe like a process like you know everyone talks about like yeah this flavor works, this flavor doesn't. Like, how does that work? Usually each flavor has you know three revisions. Okay, and it's not just you. Yeah, it's not just me. It's 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 a big team. We have a research and development team at the okay. head office, and it's a joint discussion with my brother, mm -hmm. and even my parents are involved. Really? Even my parents and, are involved. And you and talk to even the staff. You know, our staff are the reason why we have our number one flavor. What like is the we, number one flavor? The number one flavor is s'mores. But it's that could like, change. It could change, That right? could change. It's, it, you know, dark side chocolate is coming up fast. Really? Yeah. It's, it's neck but, and neck right but now. s'mores, we almost didn't keep because we felt it was, my brother and I felt it was too sweet. Oh, really? But every one of our staff they loved it. Okay. So I think I think if you're if you're twenty something, you have a you have a sweet tooth, you don't mind the sweetness, uh -huh. and so that's why we kept it. You guys said that you guys are really active on social media, and you guys really try to listen like what the customers want. Maybe they might give you suggestions on new flavors. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like it goes back and forth. Yeah, huh? we listen. They listen to all our customers. Yeah, listening is caring. Of course, they do ice cream well, but if you guys don't know, they also have a lot of good savory items on the menu. So, uh, and we also, you guys also have a lot of good coffee. Mm -hmm. And I heard you guys get your coffee from a reputable coffee supplier that yeah. really picks out, takes care of the beans. Mm -hmm. So you, these are really like good quality products. And we sell the coffee bags in our store as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So if you guys, you know, like the coffee, you can also take some home. Mm -hmm. Just like I'm sure you can also do with the ice cream. Like if yes, you want to take some ice sure. cream home. Um, we have kind of a funny system in our store because you could spend a lot of time just tasting. Uh -huh. And because we're so crowded on the weekends, we want to make sure that we uh, attend to you right away. Okay. So if you have a token like this, this is a single. This is a single. Double scoop. This is and the a double. Triple scoop. And the triple. Okay. And this one with the with the hash marks, that's for a special freshly baked waffle cone. Oh, see the right. detail. I love that. The details that you guys pay attention so, to. So you can buy this first and then you begin your tasting. And when you're ready to pick, you just give it and then you'll get your scoop. So Another there you thing. go guys. Perfect gift idea for all the ice cream lovers out there. Okay, so uh, let's step aside from ice cream for a second. Let's try some of the savory items that you have. Mm -hmm. Little salty to the sweetness of the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Right here we have the bacon dog. So you said I should try this one first. Yeah, you try that because it's because the, the, the chili dog, the, there's it's spicy. Okay. So that's gonna mask the, the bacon. What kind of hot dogs do you use for the um, the the, ba the hot dog is a custom all beef hot dog that we had somebody make for us, so it's, it's special for the store. I can taste it's really, it's really there's a really nice saltiness to it, mm -hmm. and also you can taste the the casing kind of snaps when you bite into it. Oh yeah, and of course the that's bacon. Right. That's right. Bacon makes everything better. Mm -hmm. So that's really good, um, and also it comes with fries. All the hot dogs come with fries. So now let's move on to this one. This one, whoa, this one looks kind of messy. 
This is the chili yep. cheese dog. So you guys make your chili in-house, right? So yes, this is just chili's made in-house. I mean, it looks like a homemade chili. It's not like something you would just pour out of a can. Mm, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of beef in there. So... Mm. You're right about the spiciness. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it can be... You know, there's a little like, bit of a bite. It's not overpowering. Okay. okay. You're right about this, the, the coffee that you guys have. It's not really... There's no sharp notes. It's like, it's, it's a mild... You know, a mild taste, and then of course with the caramel, it's like kind of a sweetness. Mm -hmm. So I mean, these are some perfect dishes that maybe you want to come here early, have your lunch. You have the saltiness in here, mm -hmm. and then you kind of sweeten it up with the ice cream. Yes. So yes. we've tried some of the savory items, so now let's move on to the ice cream. Okay, the ice cream, that's right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so now on to the ice cream. The first thing we're gonna try is this is the affogato. Okay, so what is this, and how should we eat this? This is, I'm guessing, this is a shot of espresso. This is a shot of espresso by Slurp Coffee, and then it's complemented by traditionally an affogato is the vanilla bean scoop. Making a so, mess. Okay. But really, you could have any flavor you want. Right? Oh really? So it doesn't have to be It vanilla. doesn't have to be that. We have 110 flavors today. So um, you, mm. you can have... Wow. Mm. The vanilla... That is so good. It just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can really taste yeah. the freshness of it. Right? And that's really good. Mm. Because I mean, most people when they say like vanilla, mm -hmm. it seems to be like a bland yeah. flavor. Yeah. That is not bland. Mm. That is not bland at all. So this one that we got right here, this is the brownie mm -hmm. ice cream sandwich. Yes. So they take an actual brownie, mm -hmm. cut it in half, and well, they stuff up some ice cream in between it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. also they drizzle yeah. caramel sauce on top. And the I'm caramel just kind of mesmerized, I couldn't even think. The caramel sauce is made in-house also. It's not from a bottle, it's made from scratch. I love to hear that. Mm. And again, it doesn't have to be vanilla bean. It can be any flavor you mm -hmm. want. You know, I kind of blacked out for a second. That was really yeah, good. Imagine washing this down with a big coffee. Oh man, right? it's so it's good. Just, uh, yeah. I really love how everything you know is made in house. Mm. All right, so our third item that we're gonna try. This is the caramelized banana split. Caramelized banana split. Here, we take the banana and we caramelize it so it's warm before we Crunchy. plate it. Yeah, before we plate it with the ice cream, and then we put. So it's just like the standard, mm. you got the chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and mm. this is pineapple? That's pine crushed pineapple. Mm. This is so good. Sir Lincoln, thank you so mm. much yeah. for inviting us. This mm. has been such a treat. All the ice cream here has been great. All the, mm. the food that we tried has been great. Mm. I'll definitely recommend this place to my friends. And you guys, if you haven't tried the Carousel Creamery, which I'm doubting you have it, please try it. All right guys, so now you know what small batch ice cream is all about. Right here at Carousel Creamery, I suggest you check them out. Give them a visit, or you can also check out their social media links right down in the description. And please, you can also check out my social media right here in the video. And don't forget to subscribe so you can join us right here on the next episode of Let Me Take You Out. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Oh, you dance too? Yeah, oh yeah. Last night, I think I'm <laughs>